This is the moment of truth. For the past six days, I've been growing garlic and pineapple crowns in either Coca-Cola Coke or water. I wanted to see which ones will produce more long and healthy roots. The pineapple crowns grown in water seem to have a decent number of roots. What is happening under the pineapple crown and garlic grown in Coca-Cola? Let's find out. Welcome to Dr. Obi's Garden. Coca-Cola Coke is a favorite drink of millions of people around the world. I conducted a small experiment to find out if this drink, and for that matter soda, can be used to grow crops. I chose pineapple and garlic which are two crops that produce roots easily when grown in water. For the pineapple experiment, I removed some basil leaves from previously cured pineapple crowns. I then filled three half bottles with Coca-Cola and another three with filtered tap water. I placed one crown in each of the half filled bottle halves, making sure that the bottoms of the crowns were immersed in the liquid within each container. I left the setup on the top of a table indoors. For the garlic setup, I filled two disposable cups with either Coca-Cola or water. I placed one garlic bulb on each cup after removing the skin and trimming the tops. I kept the setup in a partially shaded area outdoors. I checked out the plants after the first three days. The pineapple crowns grown in water started growing a few roots. On the other hand, the pineapple crown grown in Coca-Cola didn't seem to have any roots at all. You could even see some fungus growing on it. I cleaned this up and put it back to observe it for a few more days. All the crowns in water had some roots emerging but no roots could be seen on the crowns rooted in Coca-Cola. This was quite interesting, but I wasn't fully convinced, so I decided to put it under observation for a few more days. For the garlic, both shoots and roots could be seen on the bulb growing in water. However, there was no sign of shoot or root on the bulb grown in Coca-Cola. I checked out the experiment again on day 6. The pineapple crown grown in water had developed more roots which were longer than those seen early on. The roots were looking quite healthy too with no sign of fungal growth or rot. On the contrary, the crowns grown in Coca-Cola still didn't have any roots and there were fungal growth all over the bottom leaf. This observation was true for all the other replicates in this experiment. There were more roots on the pineapple crowns grown in water but virtually no roots on the crowns grown in Coca-Cola. On day 6, the garlic grown in water had many shoots and the roots were developing very well. They look much longer than those previously seen. Interestingly, there were no shoots on the garlic bulb grown in Coca-Cola. A look at the base of the bulb revealed another shocking observation. There were absolutely no roots developing on this bulb. So this just confirmed the observation made in the pineapple experiment. We have just seen that you cannot grow garlic and pineapple in Coca-Cola. What could be the possible reason or reasons for this? And what are the implications of the results of this experiment? Coca-Cola has many ingredients and any of these could have caused this. Although 
I suspect the high sugar concentration to be responsible for the growth inhibitions observed in pineapple and garlic. However, this needs to be tested in a separate experiment. Is this proof that human beings should not drink Coca-Cola or any soda? Not at all. This experiment has only shown that plants have different needs than humans. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like. Don't forget to share and subscribe if you are new to this channel. Thanks for watching. Until we meet again in our next video, it's adios.